So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this new single shadow by Anastasia in the color Custard and I'm going to apply that with my Sigma E40 blending brush. And I forgot to show um, I used a base and it's Sigma's eyeshadow base in Persuade. And then next I'm going to take another another one of Anastasia's single shadows and, and again the same Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to take it just more into the crease as opposed to a little bit above it. Next I applied a black base and I just put that on my eyelid, not going too far up and then just blended it upward in the same with the same brush. I used a gel liner, you can use a gel liner, a black base or even a, a black eye pencil if you have it. Just make sure it's one that goes on really smooth. Then next I just ran a matte black eyeshadow with a flat brush on top of that and kind of blended it upward again but not going too far up. So just packing that black shadow so making sure it's like really opaque and then just I'm going to take my Sigma E35 blending brush and just make sure there's no hard edges. And then I'm going to take this flat brush by Sigma and I'm going to run just the same black shadow under my lower lash line and this brush really helps to make that sort of guideline for where that sharp inner corner line is going to go. Then next I'm just going to blend it out a little bit with that first orangish color shadow I used in the beginning. And then for my waterline, I applied a gel liner into kind of the outer half of it. And then I'm just going to take the silver liner and I'm going to apply that to the first part of my waterline. And then just going outside of the, under, right under the waterline a little bit. And then just to make it pop a little bit more, I'm going to put a frosted white shadow on top of that. And it's also going to make it last a little bit longer too. Then I'm going to take this new liner pencil by Tarte and really darken up and really make that line a little bit more defined and this eyeliner pencil makes it so easy to do because the tip is so small. And all the details will be listed in the description box below as well as coupon code so don't forget to check those out. I'm just going to lightly bronze my face and I'm using this Limelight Bronzer by Sigma. It's a really light natural bronzer and um, this is, brush is by Benefit. So I'm just going to bronze the usual areas and then don't forget to hit that double chin. I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit and the brush I'm using is a Sigma E35 blending brush and then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender and I don't know if anybody else has this problem but I feel like this black beauty blender isn't as good as the pink one. Has anybody noticed that or is it just like mine? <laughs> And because I really don't want any color on my face, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. And if I can find my brush, um, I'm going to use the Sigma, as I think it's a blush brush or powder. I don't remember, but I'm just going to kind of blend my contour out with this. And it's just going to kind of warm up my face a little bit. And then for highlighter, I'm taking Anastasia's Starlight Highlighter and again, just hitting the normal areas of my face. And then for lips, um, what did I use? Oh, it's Smashbox Lipstick in Nude Beach, I think it's called. And it's just a really pretty nude peachy color. And then on top of that, I use the Insta Matte from Smashbox to make any lipstick matte and I am in love with this. It instantly makes it matte, but not just matte, like a, a matte filling, really hydrating matte. 
if that makes any sense. Like it looks matte, but it doesn't feel matte. And that's it.